Breaking news, Ron Burgundy has now come out of the closet and said he's gay. Let's send it out to our reporter in San Diego who's speaking with him now. Thanks. I'm here with Ron Burgundy. Ron, why did you choose today to come out as gay? Well, you see, I went outside this morning and thought to myself, today's a beautiful day to be gay. Great thinking there. Back to you. Hey, Kellen. Look, I got a new Kenny G45. You jelly? That's cool. Did you hear the news? No, what happened? So Ron Burgundy came out of the closet. Really? Maybe it's a sign. You should come out too. I don't know, Snow. It's kind of a big deal. Do it. I don't know. I'll think about it. Promise? Promise. Don't give me that face. I can give you whatever face I want. Okay. Hey Joe, are you still writing that play about that train robbery? Yeah, why? I don't know, I was just curious. Hey. So, why did you drag me over here? I just wanted to get to know you. Has anyone told you you're really cute? No, I usually don't get that kind of compliment from other guys. Well, I don't know if you can tell, but I'm gay. Whether you want to admit it or not, I can tell you're pretty gay as well. I, I don't know what you want Oh, come on, admit it. Who am I going to tell anyway? It's no secret. So, I met this guy. Is he gay? Yeah, he's pretty cute too. Really? What's his name? Terry. <laughs> Sounds like a pretty gay name. He gave me his number. No, he didn't. Have you texted him yet? No. Why haven't you asked him out? Because? No, don't. Stop that. No. What are you? Stop. <laughs> <N> don't. <laughs> there you go. You didn't. I did. Why? Because you weren't going to do it. Says who? Says everyone. Oh, there it goes. <gasps> he said yes! No way. Yeah? Hey, you're here. Happy six months. I made you this cupcake. Only one? Yeah, I kind of burned the others. Ah, well then. What's what's wrong, babe? Nothing. Talk to me. You really want to know? Yeah. Well, let's see. I've been getting repeated death threats. My ferret, Sir Poopaloo, just died this morning. I have so many bills to pay and just... Ugh. I love you, Kellen. I really do. I'm just frustrated. Not with you. With this situation. I need to leave for a little while. I really miss him, you know? Yeah, I don't know why he would have just left so suddenly. I know, he, what I could tell he was, he was pretty frustrated and upset. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really wish that he would, like, talk to you, though. I mean, he hasn't even talked to you for, like, three days. I, I've called him. I've texted him. I, I don't know what to do. This is ridiculous. He really needs to communicate with you in some way. Can I cry? Yeah. What? Oh. Oh. Uh, hi, well, Terry. I'm you're here. Leave. Hey, I've been so worried about you. Yeah, I'm fine. 
I'm really sorry about the other day. It's okay, I understand. Uh, yeah, I've just been really stressed out. I have something to ask you. Okay. Will you marry her? Yes. Oh my god, gosh. Yes. But how are we going to tell my family? Don't worry. Everything will work out. I love you. I love you too. What are you doing here? <laughs> So I told my parents. Really? What'd they say? They were kind of okay with it, but at the same time not. Why? Well, do remember, I am 17. Yeah, I don't know. I wouldn't be okay with my kid if they told me that they were engaged at 17. I mean, at least they're accepting that you're gay, though. Yeah. I'm so glad that you finally told them, Helen. It was hard. Yeah. I remember when I first told somebody, it was hard for me too. Why is that? Uh, it was just at a time when being gay was kind of weird. Isn't that always though? <laughs> Did you brush your teeth? Hey Terry, can you make me another cup of coffee? Sure thing, honey. Vincent, come brush your teeth. Coming, Dad. Thank you.